Welcome to Face to Face. Our guest today is Nandini Bajpayee. Her fifth book is being published next month in the United States, UK, Canada, Australia and India. We are going to talk to her about her journey and her books which she has published in the past as well as the one coming up next month. Nandini, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. And um, I remember you, I met you when you were the 20 outstanding women in 2015-16, yes. something around that time. Yes. So at that time, you know, one of the reasons you were there because you were, at that time you had finished a book and now this is the big hit for you. Yes. Uh, this is the first book you are publishing in the United States. That's right. Okay. So the book is called uh, Once, can you just, why didn't you tell us about the book? Okay, so the book is called A Match Made in Mehendi. Mehendi. And it's about Simi, uh, who is a 15-year-old girl in New Jersey. And she comes from a long line of Indian matchmakers. Yeah. So she's an Indian-American girl. She's an Indian-American girl, okay. very much so. And uh, But her family has brought their traditions with them from India. Mm -hmm. So her mother and her masi and her nani were all matchmakers and they had a business, the Shagun matchmaking business. And um, uh, she does have a talent of setting people up and seeing if they connect, but she is much more interested in art and just having a good year in high school, like a regular teenager. But um, she decides to use the techniques of her mother and her grandmother uh, to come up with a dating app which goes viral in our high school and then things get kind of crazy from there. Excellent. So now, uh, so your audience for this book uh, is uh, adult, uh, teen adults or what you call young adults? Well, yes, it's a young adult novel. So it's uh, it's meant for teenagers but or anybody who's young at heart. Anyone can read it. Um, yeah, so it's teens and up. Teens and up. And uh, this is it has nothing to do, uh, just a, the main character is Indian American, but is applicable to anyone who is in high school and all. And That's right. So, you know, it's about kids in high school. Uh, and um, of course, there's a lot of, uh, you know, sort of Indian background in there because that is Simi's family mm -hmm. and that's Simi's background. But anyone um, should be able to find it fun and interesting to read. Okay. Now we'll come back to the book a little bit later. Let, tell us about the other books which you have written in the past. So um, I've written mostly young adult novels, other young adult novels. My first novel to be published was Red Turban White Horse with mm -hmm. Scholastic India. And it's about uh, Mini Kapoor, a teenager who lives in the Boston area. and. Um, Minnie has an older sister who's getting married and they don't have a mom, their mom had passed away and she decides to plan her sister's wedding the way her mother would have wanted. So it's it's really interesting, it's a big fat Indian wedding being planned by a teenager except Hurricane Irene shows up mm. and everything goes crazy and she's trying to manage everything so it's really fun, um, you know, it's about a wedding, there's some romance in there um, but it's also about a girl just trying to you know, connect with her own roots mm -hmm. and deal with the grief from having lost her mother. And also some of the other earlier books you can talk about like, briefly. Okay, so uh, Star Cursed is another young adult book that I wrote, which is, uh, it's a historical set in 12th century India. It's about Leelavati, who is the daughter of Bhaskaracharya, who is a mathematician from Ujjain. Hmm. And uh, Bhaskaracharya is very much a historical figure. He wrote a book called the Leelavati, which is about maths. But it's named for a girl, and a lot of the problems in it are about a girl, mm -hmm. uh, are addressed to a girl by name. So uh, it was really interesting to, to write about that time. Um, and uh, I also wrote Rishi and the Comic Cat, which is a middle grade novel, um, which is, you know, it has a lot of magic in it, a lot of fantasy in it, but it does have a message about the environment as well. So these are some of the other books that I've So written. other books all were published in India. Yes. This is the first one being published in the United States. That's right. And, and also being published by a big uh, publisher, Little Brown. Little Brown, Hachette, and Hachette, uh, Canada, UK, Australia, India have also picked it up. So 
it's it'll be widely available. Excellent. Now, um, as you were telling me off the camera that your sister is also a very well established writer in India. Yes, she is. And what is her name? You can just briefly tell about her. So this is my younger sister, mm -hmm. Anuja, Anuja Chauhan. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we are Chauhan sisters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my married name is Bajpay. Uh, so yeah, she wrote The Zoya Factor. She wrote those pricey Thakur girls, which, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it has a little bit of our childhood in it, growing up in Delhi. And um, the house that BJ built, uh, there's a lot of books she's written. Her last one is Bars, mm -hmm. which is about, um, uh, you know, the 1971 war. It's about an Air Force pilot. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting and fun. And uh, Joya, that's a movie coming up next uh, month. That's correct. Sonam Kapoor is the actress in that movie. Yes. Okay, excellent. So it seemed that this writing is in your uh, gene, right? Yes, it comes from our father. Fun. He was in the army, but he was very much interested in 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 just literature, and all of us sort of were raised with that. Okay. So, what makes me really curious that somehow this teen age always lives in us, no matter how old you become, because yeah. that's a very formative year, and um, and I see that the theme of your uh, uh, books are related with the teenage or young adult. Yeah. So how much of that writing is your personal autobiography and how much is fiction? Well, you know, your life experience finds its way into the books and the characters one way or the other. They're, none of them are autobiographical. Mm -hmm. They are, you know... Well, every writer says that. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, you find things that you've experienced do pop up in the plot and the characters. For example, in Red Turban, White Horse, my sister-in-law was getting married during the time that Hurricane Irene, you know, um, hit Boston. And a lot of the things we had to go through, mm -hmm. um, you know, because it did arrive the day of her wedding. Mm -hmm. So I took inspiration from that, definitely. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, these other books, a lot of it is just imagination and, you know, what if... You come up with a scenario. So let me ask you, so how was your teenage life in India when you were growing up? Well, I grew up in Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was in the army, so we d he did get transferred to a lot of sort of hill station. Um, and we traveled a lot to be with him. But I'm very much a Delhiite. I went to Delhi Public School, Mathura Road. I went to Army Public School, Lalakwa. I went to Miranda House. And uh, yeah, so I'm a Delhiite through and through. But I read a lot. And, uh, you know, growing up in India, you have uh, a lot of British books that you get to read, you know, the Enid Blyton's and American books that you get to read. And there weren't a lot of books about kids like us mm -hmm. when we were growing up. So I always wanted to write something that, you know, teenage me would have liked to read growing up. And um, so that's why I'm doing So uh, let me ask. I'm going to rephrase my question again. Okay. So what uh, what do you think of a teenage years in typical in anybody's life or growing up or experience of teenage? Well, just, just like you said, they are the formative years. Everybody has been through that stage of their life and everybody looks back on those years very fondly. And it's sort of the threshold between childhood and adulthood where there are so many possibilities and there's so many directions a life can take. Um, I think that's what makes it really interesting. Uh, any one lesson, for example, we can, you know, it's a very confusing yes. stage in our life. Everybody, whether it's boy or girl, is always you totally yes. confused, don't know what's going on in, <laughs> in your life or what might happen. You are neither a child nor you are, yes. you know, an adult, nothing. It, everything is totally confusing. But you're still going through that type of uh, uh, turmoil, I would say, in that, uh, that age group. What are the few things we should be careful of in teenage? Especially, you know, like today's teenage, for example, what are the things they can learn from, from the book or from you or from the experiences? Well, I, I try not to have sort of a moral or some sort of teachable lesson. I think what I try to do is just present as authentically as I can how kids might be, you know, mm -hmm. living out whatever it is that they're going through. And um, a lot of, 
you know, books always have a journey that their main characters go through. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's different for every character and it's different for every book and every story arc. So I try not to be sort of, you know, mm -hmm. moralizing to them or trying to tell them what to do. But it is nice to see somebody you can relate to in a book because it makes you feel that, you know, you matter. Yeah. And, you know, kids really need to be told that they matter and that, you know, they are important, their experience is important and, you know, they, they are not, they shouldn't be disregarded. Mm -hmm. um, you know, especially kids growing up here, they are not, all the books show mainstream American kids and not, you don't see a lot of books with Indian kids in them. And, you know, that should make you feel like. So how, how uh, you have two kids, right? I do. They are all graduated from. Yes. So how did you raise your children? Or what you, or they just. I think everybody tries to do the best they can. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, I wouldn't say that I have, you know, the best way of raising kids. I, I did my best is what I tried to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, um, I didn't try and prescribe to them what they should do. They were very, um, confident children they were very interested in a lot of things and they found their own way mm -hmm. and my role was to support them and be there so now how did you get into writing how when the first you thought okay i want to be a writer i want to write a book how let's talk about that journey how it started okay so uh i love to read growing up i read a lot and, uh, but you know, nobody really told you that, you know, Bita, you can be a writer when you grow up. And mm -hmm. It just wasn't one of the paths that seemed. So I worked, when I was, when I moved here, I worked at Fidelity Investments mm -hmm. for four years. And then I had my kids and they were one year apart. Um, and then sort of, I was home with them. But when I tried to find books for them, there weren't any books in mm -hmm. which there were kids like them. So that is really my inspiration for, mm -hmm. for writing is I wanted to see books with people like me in them when I was growing up and mm -hmm. there weren't any. And then when my children were born and I was looking for books for them in which they could see their reality reflected, there wasn't anything. So, you know, it's be the change. Mm -hmm. You should try and do the things. So now when you're talking about uh, not books like that, you mean just a typical book for anyone who are also thinking about Indian American angle as well? Oh, of definitely, course. because that is you know you want to you want to see the things that you know. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why the things you know why Indian American experience can't be in books. And there's you know we have such great authors you know Salman Rushdie. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. For absolutely. adults, sure. but for children, it wasn't there. Mm -hmm. There were very few uh, books like that. Um, so, yeah, it's always nice to make. So, that. so you wrote your first book, and then what? You sent it to publisher, or how this happened? So, the first book that I was happy with when it was finished was Starkest, mm -hmm. which is the historical novel I was telling you about. Um, and so, what you do here is you have to have an agent uh, because a lot of the big publishers are closed mm -hmm. to direct submission. So I did have an agent and we sent out uh, stalkers to a round of editors. But, you know, it was very hard to sell a historical novel mm -hmm. for teenagers in America mm -hmm. when it's set in 12th century India. Yeah. So it was really hard to do that. So, you know, we parted ways, but then it got interest in India. Mm -hmm. And Rupa picked it up. Through the same uh, agent or different? No, no, no. This was like directly. Okay. So directly. Uh, somebody, what was happening in India was people were suddenly getting interested in young adult fiction. Mm -hmm. And there, were, there wasn't anyone who was writing that. Mm -hmm. So um, somebody found me. I'm not sure how they found me. But um, they said, well, you write young adult fiction. Send us your stuff. And I did. And Scholastic and Rupa picked them up almost. And Rupa is the big publisher in India. In yes. India. Sure. And Scholastic mm. is also absolutely, huge. Absolutely. They're good worldwide. Sure, sure. Uh, so, yeah, Rupa is huge. They had just started a children's imprint called Red Turtle. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are the ones who published Starkest and Rishi and the Comic Cat. And Scholastic India published 
Red Turban, White Horse, very close after each other. Sure. And now your um, the upcoming book. Yes. So did you work with the same agent or you found a different new agent for this book? No. So uh, I worked with a firm called Cake Literary mm -hmm. and they have their own agent. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it went out with them. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, my editor, Little Brown, picked it up through them. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. And now uh, coming back this um, the Mandy book. Right? Yes. Uh, uh, I'm, it's easier to remember. Yes, probably, I know. Like, that's sure. okay. Um, so, how this book is started? Well, and how long it took you to write that book? This book has been through several versions. Mm -hmm. So initially, uh, the idea was not my idea. It was uh, it was Cake's idea, and uh, and but Cake that's is your agent, right or no? Their the editor. Yeah, it's confusing. They're a packaging company. Okay. Uh, so they came up with the idea for. Uh, you know, what if uh, somebody comes from a background in which her family... Now, before we go there, I I'm just want to clarify the packaging company. Yes. So tell us what this packaging company is. So what they do is they come up with a high concept mm -hmm. and a very, um, you know, like a broad outline of what could happen in a book, like a concept. They come mm -hmm. up with a concept. Written with the books. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they come up with a concept and they try and find somebody who can write that. Mm -hmm. So um, Cake, they uh, are interested in, in having more diverse books. Mm -hmm. So they'll come up with um, a high concept, but with a diverse bent. Mm -hmm. So this is an Indian mm -hmm. matchmaking mm -hmm. story uh, about a teenager. And then growing they met, up here. yeah, growing up here. Mm -hmm. So they came up with the idea, and they've uh, read some of my books that I had published, and they said, "Well, you have the voice to be able to write it." Mm -hmm. So you said, so "They found you." They found me. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so initially, it was supposed to be a middle grade novel. Mm -hmm. So that was the first version that we wrote, and then it went out on submission, and Little Brown bought it. They said, "We like this. We like the voice, but it needs to be young adult," mm -hmm. which I completely agreed with mm -hmm. because you know it's about dating makes much more sense in high school um, so then we threw out the old raft and then it was blue sky you do what you want with your editor uh, so we rewrote the whole book as a young adult novel so that was the second version and then it went through a couple of revisions mm -hmm. and then we ended up with what we have now excellent well um, so September 10th you said September 10th is when the book is out. September 14th at Wellesley Book is the launch. In Wellesley here in Massachusetts? Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. I used to work at Wellesley Books for a little while. Okay. Good. Yeah. So you have all the connections there. Yeah, my local indie bookstore, yes. Okay, excellent. And then in India, it is coming out later this month, right? They come. It's coming out on September 25th. 25th. Yeah. So in, I'll be doing a lot of traveling in October. Uh, to all the book festivals, you know, the Texas Teen Book Festival, the Colorado Teen Book Festival, the Yall Fest, which is a young adult festival in South Carolina. Um, yeah, the Boston Book Festival. Sure, sure. Yeah. So now before I let you go, mm -hmm. uh, what after this book? Well, I have two manuscripts that I'm working on. Already? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm always working on something. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and then I have a backlist of books that were published overseas that I would love to find a home for in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would love for my books that were published in India to find a home here. And I think right now is a good time. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, um, uh, what about the theme of these manu this manuscripts you are writing? Okay. Again, they involve with the teen teenage adults are totally different theme. Well, you know, I always, I love history. That's why the first book that I completed, you know, was a historical. And I like that. I like genres that sort of mix fantasy with history. You know, like you have, well, Game of Thrones is way too adult for sure. for teenagers. But do you see, you know, you have a lot of fantasy that's set in medieval Europe. I like, you know, fantasy that mixes historically Asian settings mm -hmm. uh, so one of them is sort of like that mm -hmm. and then another one is very much a contemporary rom-com like you know a match made in Mendy or mm -hmm. Red Turban White Horse and well books. I do have a copy of uh, yeah. the match uh, 
made in Mehrik. This is the book here, right? That is the book, yes. Excellent. And it's, uh, so definitely I'm going to read myself and give it to my daughter, who is a teenage, you know, okay, in high school. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Looking to see what is her reaction is. Yeah. And uh, awesome. uh, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome.